Yo, Nergilly is here. Time to kick it with some new comics. First up, we got Web of Spider-Man number one. This was the A cover. Absolutely love it. This has some nice like 90s kind of McFarlane types of vibes of Spidey just coming out of this crazy web right here. All of the House of X number one. There were a lot of cool covers of this. The A cover is really cool with Jean Grey and this kind of Phoenix Force like blood mark in the ground. It's, it's, it's crazy, but it's cool. Uh, but I really was digging this Mystique one. Thought it was just really beautiful. Had to pick it up. Something epic, number eight, and I absolutely love this throwback to Batman Adventures. Thought it was an awesome cover. If you haven't checked out this series, you're missing out. Only eight issues in, definitely pick it up. A brand new one this week, Dawn Runner. This could be pretty big. Anything from Dark Horse is normally a banger, so definitely worth picking up. Just the art on this is alluring to me, right? Definitely has these like uh, Kipo vibes, if you ever saw that cartoon. Uh, definitely cool, definitely one to look out for. Displaced, number two. This is has been a very cool series uh, from Boom, very much in the vein of 8 Billion Genies, which you know is near and dear to my heart. Uh, only two issues in, worth picking up. And last, this week, we got Star Wars Visions number one, the Ronin and the Droid. Lots of cool covers for this one as well. Uh, if you've ever seen this, there's a, a graphic novel based on it, and it's also, uh, there's a cartoon that you can see on Disney+. Plus. Uh, but just all these kind of alternative uh, kind of stories in the Star Wars universe. And this one, if you've seen it, is really striking, right? The cartoon, the graphic novel, same kind of feel, lots of black and white, obviously miss mixing together uh, this feudal Japan vibe with Star Wars, which is really cool. And then just these iconic kind of red lightsabers are all that we're really seeing, right? Because this, this Ronin, he was a Sith, and now he's kind of, changed his ways so really really cool taking the concept of kind of feudal samurai and applying that to the star wars universe this is worth picking up not only because i think that a lot is going to be happening uh in the vein of this in the future lots of alternative star wars stories and definitely more stuff along the lines of this ronin but also because uh you know it it's just the art style is amazing i mean it's just look at so much action and i love that you just see the red throughout i mean it is hard to beat a full page spread like that i mean that is star wars at its finest so let me know in the comments what was something cool you picked up this week and until next time high five subscribe